our title on the next blank page. It says math language. What does it mean to add? Math language, what does it mean to add? Yes. Math language, what does it mean to add? Oh, speaking of math language, what, do, what is the symbol when I want to add something? What is the symbol when I want to add something, Michael? Uh, it's a plus symbol. <coughs> it looks like a squeeze tea. <coughs> you should be very familiar with that symbol. We've probably seen it Millions. hundreds, thousands of times. Millions? Maybe. But when we see that symbol, in an equation, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Gwen, what do you think? Okay, so we're putting <coughs> numbers or we might think of them as things together. Okay, what else does it mean to add? <coughs> what does that mean to add? Think about what we've seen about adding on a number line. What does that mean? You guys have been adding since probably kindergarten. You don't know what it means? Ooh. Okay. Okay, which direction? When we're adding, we're going to be moving forward on a number line. Will, what do you think? On a two. Um, add the two, um, like, put the two numbers together? Yep, we've got that. We've got that, Sean. Adding, adding one number to a number number to make a bigger number. Okay, so we're finding, how about a new total, right? And then two cupcakes over here. And when I add, I'm going to find the new total of cupcakes. That's what my addition is. When I see that math language, I'm making a new total. I'm trying to figure out how many there are in all. So far, so good? Yeah. You ready for me to move on? No. Get done? Because I'm moving. Thing. But I'm adding things. I'm counting everything individually. That means by one. Is that different than what I do to multiplication? So I want you to write this. Four plus two equals back versus four times two equals back. So we're thinking about the different forms of how we're going to count and they were writing. We've been talking a lot about what this math language means. Check that we're in our math notebook now. So let's take a step and think about multiplication. We've been doing a lot of multiplication. Can someone read this math language?
language this equation can mean in English? <laughs> Go for it, Shelby. Four groups. Of yeah, this means four groups of two. When I count four groups of two, how would I do it? When I count four groups of two, how would I do it? Seven. I'm probably going to skip count. And the reason why I'm going to skip count is because I'm counting groups. That's different than what I'm adding. So let's look at this math equation. 4 plus 2 equals 5. When I read that in English, I might say four things and two more things equal some things. And you can put anything in place of things, right? Four puppies two more puppies equals some puppies. Four pencils plus two more pencils equals some pencils. That is how I am adding. But when I count that, how do I count it? I count it individually. That means I'm going to count my four, one, two, three, four, and then count two more, one, two. Did you hear any groups in there? Nope. I heard groups of one. So maybe groups of one, but is there any real skip counting happening? No. No. So when I am adding, I am always counting by ones. I'm always counting by ones. It might be a really big number, right? We've been adding with some really big numbers, but those are not groups of numbers. Those are just all that number by ones. So I know this is a lot. I'm going to pause so you can make sure you get all this written down. So when we're talking about how adding is different than multiplying, and Lincoln just said we're not counting groups. We're not counting groups. Michael, what were you going to say? Something like that or something different? I was going to say that, like, how is adding different than multiplying? Because adding is like, uh, it's not really scary. <coughs> yeah, when we add, we're doing those numbers by each individual number. We're not trying to skip count. We're not trying to jump all these different jumps. What do you think, Ken Sean? <laughs> Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Ice cream, peanut butter. Addition and multiplication are very similar. They're close. We can use addition to do multiplication, but they are different. They are different. All right. Thinking about that, we're actually going to expand on a strategy Michael was using, which is using our ten hundreds one to add, aka expanded form. Go ahead and turn to the next link page or draw a line if you have plenty of space. And on your paper, I want you to write expanded form. Oh. We're going to review. I'm sure you know what it is. You just might not know that that was the name. So go ahead and write expanded form as your new title or your new subtitle, depending on how much room you have. I used to do this all the time. I forgot what the awesome. Voice. All right, so let's look at our word problem that we're going to be using expanded form as a new strategy. It says there are 214 fish in a giant tank at the NC Aquarium. 
There are 131 <laughs> other sea animals also in the tank. How many animals live together in this tank? What am I counting? What am I counting? Elena? Uh, I'm counting fish and other sea animals. Am I counting groups of sea animals or am I counting them all individually? I'm counting them all individually. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, all individually. Let's write an answer sentence. I already know that I'm counting animals, so what could be my answer sentence? Ashlyn? Love it. There are blank the animals in this tank. So we know that we are counting the animals and we know that we're counting them individually. Go ahead and draw a bar model with our whole for our total. Do I know the total number of sea animals in the tank? No, not yet. Not yet. Doesn't tell me yet. But Bladen, I do know some things. What are some things that I know? What's one thing that I know, Bladen? Um, that they're, they're individuals. They're individuals, sure. <coughs> How many individuals am I looking at, though? Yeah, I've got 214. I'm going to put them in one category because those are all my fish. 214 fish. But I know that fish are not the only thing in that tank. Bladen told me I've got 131 other animals in that tank that are not fish. So that could be sea stars. That could be jellyfish. Shark. That could be shark. I think sharks do still fit in the category of fish. There's other things that could be that are not fish that are still a sea animal. Looking at my looking at my bar model, what's the equation I could use? What's the equation I could use to solve that? Looking at that bar model. Hmm. I should see lots and lots of hands because this is something we've done a lot. Emily, you with us? Sure. Shelby, what do you think? What's the equation? Two hundred fourteen plus one hundred and thirty-one equals. Ah. This is part. Plus part equals whole. Victor, what's that? Yeah. So now that we've figured out our equation, Boyden, now we're going to use that expanded form. I want you to write 214 blank H plus blank T plus blank O. That's going to stand for blank hundreds, blank tens, and blank ones. How many hundreds are in 214? Stella? Two. How many tens are in 214? One. One. How many ones are in 214? Four. Bladen just said there's 214 ones. Are there 214 ones? Kind of. Yes, there are. We've just smushed them to make them easier counting pieces. There are 214 ones in 214. 
but we've regrouped them into hundreds and tens to make it a little easier. Let's look at the value of that. What is two hundreds worth? What is two hundreds worth? What's that value? We talked about that last week, Logan. Two hundred. Two hundred. What is one ten worth? Ashlyn? Ten. What is four ones worth? Four. No? Four. Four. This right here, when I break it apart and I can see what every place value is worth, that is expanded form. Have you seen that before, Victor? Yeah, you've seen that before. I figure you just didn't remember the name. Let's do the same thing with 131. I'm going to look at my oops, hundreds, What's missing? my tens, and my ones. Looking at 131. Harper, how many hundreds are in 131? One. One hundred or one? One hundred. There is one. In hundred. In 131. How many tens are in 131? Elena? How many tens are in 131? Three tens, very good. How many ones are in 131, Lincoln? One. Now let's look at our value. What is 100 worth? What is 100 worth, Tenley? One hundred. What is three tens worth? Victor, what's three tens worth? Nine forty two. What's three tens worth? Three tens. Thirty. What's one one worth? Seven? One. One. Two use. Expanded form to add, now that I've broken apart my number, I'm going to add my ones. That's all I've referred to with four ones plus one one. How many ones is that? How many ones is that? Seven? Five. Five. Now I'm going to add my tens. Ten plus thirty. Forty. How many tens will that give me? Or how many? Forty. 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 Numbers would that be? Shelby? Was it? Forty. Now I'm going to add my hundreds. One hundred plus two hundred. What is that going to total? Tenley? Three hundred. Now I need to put this back in a number. Is it five thousand four hundred and thirty? No. What is this number back in Regular number four. Back in standard form. Lincoln? 345. So how many sea animals are in that one tank in the aquarium? Not 100. I mean 345. That's okay. Because I get too fast and then I... Raise your hand if you've used this strategy to add before. Breaking it into each place value, hundreds, tens, and ones to add. So we're a little familiar. This is just like make a friendly number, but breaking it into more than one friendly number. All right, let's try another one. If you need to turn the page, you can. This problem says there are 476 rocks and 148 minerals in a museum on display. What is the total number of rocks and minerals in the display? What am I counting in this problem? What is my unit, the thing I'm counting? 
are for rocks and minerals. Does that sound like I'm going to be counting groups of things or all of them individually? Say it again. Yeah, I'm going to count them all individually. I need to know all the rocks and I need to know all the minerals. We're going to have to wait. Hey, we're not. We're moving on. What could be my answer sentence? Henley, what could be my answer sentence? Awesome. Love that. Go ahead and write it. There are blank rocks and minerals in all or at the museum or any version of that. That'll work.
148 flat in your face in the wrong direction. How would I put 148 in expanded form? Go for it, Harper. 100 plus 40 plus 8. Let's add it together. Six ones plus eight ones equals how many ones? Six ones plus eight ones equals how many ones, Bella? Fourteen ones. I'm going to go ahead and write fourteen. Seventy plus forty. Or seven tens plus four tens. Seven? What? Eleven tens. So what is that going to be worth? What is eleven tens worth? I don't know. What's that? Yeah, what is that worth? Seventy plus forty. Devin figured out that'd be eleven tenths, but we're not sure what eleven tenths might be worth. What? That one. What do you think, Shelby? One hundred and ten is what eleven tenths. Oops. Is equal to. Now we have four hundred plus one hundred. Please stop doing that. Okay. Sean? 500. Very good. Now this gets tricky. How do I put that number back into standard form? <laughs> Let's do one step at a time. Let's start with 500 and 110. What is 500 plus 110? You think you know? Okay, hang on to it. Elena? 610. 610, very good. I still need that 14, so now I need to do 600 and, whoops, 610 plus 14. What is 610 plus 14? 610 plus 14. Ashlyn? 624. So how many total rocks and minerals are in this museum? Harper? 624. 626 plus 235. Go ahead and write it on your desk. 526 plus 235. Thank you. Underneath that or somewhere else, go ahead and expand those numbers out so that you can see what each place value is worth. At 251. What would be the expanded form of 526? I love this. Bella's actually using the same break apart strategy that we've seen when we break something apart. Tenley? Awesome. If you're going to use our break apart triangles, you can make it like that. Or if you would rather write it in true expanded form, it looks like this. The reason there are plus signs in it is because we are adding these numbers back together to get to 526. 
Yeah. What about 235? What is that going to be? 235. Elena? Awesome. 200 plus 30 plus 5. Now I need to add. gets me how much? That just gets you 750. And then I add 11. Mm-hmm. 